Hey guys, it's Ellie, and in this video I'm going to be showing you some DIY back to school organization. So let's get into it. The first idea is this school supply desk organizer. Take any old cardboard box, I'm using a cereal box, and cut off the top of it to whatever height you'd like. Make sure the bottom of the box is closed and the top is open. Now you can decorate your box however you want. Make sure to cover three sides of your box, so the front and the two sides, and you can cover the back if you'd like, but chances are you won't be able to see it, so you can just leave it. Next, take another box, I again used a cereal box, and make sure it's cut so it's shorter than your first box. Go ahead and cover three sides of your box again, I used yellow paper. Once covered, take some duct tape and tape it to the bottom of your box. Lay the box on top of your first taller box and stick the bottoms together. Then I rolled up some duct tape and taped the boxes together on the front of my big red box and back of my smaller yellow box. You can also use glue if you'd like. Next, take an even smaller box, I used a cake batter box, and cut it in half, and cover that in your scrapbook paper. This time I used a glue stick instead, which worked just as well. Now repeat the process of sticking your boxes together, so tape your smallest box in front of your medium box. Next, I just added in some toilet paper rolls to the middle box, which you can glue in if you like, but I just placed them in. Go ahead and fill your toilet paper rolls with your school supplies. I added in pens, markers, pencils, and sharpies. The toilet paper rolls really help all your supplies stand up. Next, go ahead and fill your box with whatever else you'd like, such as a calculator, note cards, sticky notes, whatever. In the largest box, I added in some paper, then in the middle, I put in my scissors, and lastly, I added a ruler to the top. Alright, so there you have your very own desk organizer, which is so useful. It helps you keep everything nice and neat, and it also looks pretty cute. This is perfect as a little homework station, so just grab this and move it to wherever you want to do your homework, and you have all the supplies you need. Next are these school-themed jars. For the apple jar, take some red and green acrylic paint and a jar with a screw on top. Paint the entire jar red. Make sure to paint your jar a little bit high to where you screw on the top to make sure that when you put the top back on, there's no unpainted area showing. You may need to add multiple coats so the jar is completely opaque. Next, paint the top green. This took three coats of paint for me. Next, take some green paper and draw two leaf shapes. You can use a stencil if you really want to, but I just hand drew them and I think that works totally fine. Punch a hole in both leaves and cut them out. Take some string, ribbon, or you can also use twine, and thread it through the holes in your paper leaves. Tie that onto the top of your jar and cut off the extra string. Screw that on your top and there you have a jar that looks like a little apple. For the pencil jar, paint your entire jar yellow, again making sure to paint a little above where you screw on the top. This will likely take multiple coats. Put that to the side to dry and paint the top pink to look like the eraser. Once dry, screw on your top and take some black scrapbook letters. You want to put an N, an O, then a dot, and then the number 2. This is so it looks like a number two pencil. And there you have these absolutely adorable school themed jars. Go ahead and fill up your jars. I added in dry erase markers and colored pencils. I love the way these turned out. They are not only useful as organization, but they also work as desk or room decor. These would also make really cool teacher gifts, and you could fill them up with stuff like pencils or candy. The third DIY organization idea is this dry erase and sticky note wall reminder. Take the glass out of a picture frame, and if you'd like, you can cover it with scrapbook or wrapping paper. So mark where you want to cut your paper by just tracing out your glass, and trim off all the excess paper. Now I took some polka dot washi tape, and taped the wrapping paper to the back of my glass. Make sure to tape it so the side of your paper that you want to see is facing the glass. I'd recommend using a pretty simple design or a solid colored paper, so you can read it when you write on your glass. Anyway, so tape all four sides of your paper to the glass. In order to stick this to my wall, I added this reusable blue sticky tack to the back of my glass. I stuck this on my wall. Now you want to take some sticky notes, I used three different colors, and stick them to your wall below your little whiteboard. I added nine in total. 
Above your sticky notes, take a dry erase marker and write on your board today, this week, and this month. This way you know when you need to get what done. Go ahead and write on your sticky notes your goals or things you want to get done for the day, week, and month. Now you can write whatever you want on your whiteboard. I'd recommend putting any reminders or thing that you want to make sure you remember. Alright, so there you have it, a wall reminder board and notes. This is really helpful and what's nice about this is you can really easily update this for whatever you need to get done. You can also write the sticky notes when you're at school, then when you get home just stick them on your wall. Alright, that's the end of my video. Please subscribe and like this video and comment down below when you go back to school because I'm curious. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye!